Hey, it's Jenny from Cedar Mill and Bethany Libraries. Today, we're gonna make a fairy house. Now, of course, you can always make a fairy house out of anything you have around the house. Cardboard boxes, cardboard tubes, paper, just use your imagination. But today, I wanna show you how to make one out of natural materials. So first, the first things to get started we need are some sticks. These sticks are about eight to 10 inches long, and there are four of them. And these I cut from a shrub in my own yard. But before you go and cut any shrubs, make sure you ask an adult for help. You might need help cutting the sticks anyway. And then you'll need some string or yarn and some scissors to cut your string. So we take the sticks and make a bundle with them, straightening the bottom part so the sticks are all aligned. And then take the string and wrap it around the bundle couple of times near the top and then you need to tie a couple of very tight knots. This part you might need adult help with. And then when we're done we can spread the sticks apart and you'll see we've made something that looks a bit like a teepee. The teepee was an amazing engineering solution to the problem of making something strong, lightweight, and portable, invented by the Plains Indians. Our structure is lightweight and portable, but not very strong, but I think the fairies won't mind. Next comes the really fun part. Take your structure outside and put it somewhere where you think you would like to have a fairy house. Then start gathering things like moss, leaves, flowers, maybe some pebbles or bits of bark, all those sorts of things that can make your fairy house really special. 